Everyone knew at the time they were tight. Now the Iraq inquiry has ruled they were too tight. That Tony Blair was too worried about Britain's special bond with the United States. It says he was wrong to think breaking with the US on Iraq would break the relationship. And wrong to believe he could guide President George Bush's thinking. Mr Blair overestimated his ability to influence US decisions on Iraq. I took the decision after 9-11 we should be America's closest ally. Again, you can disagree with that. I personally think when you're fighting this terrorism in the world today, it would be better if Britain today had a really strong, tight relationship with the United States. The report says Tony Blair often failed to consult widely across his own cabinet of ministers, that too few senior people were aware of big policy decisions. An example, it quotes from a long personal letter Blair wrote to George Bush in July 2002, in which the British Prime Minister told the US President, I will be with you whatever. Senior ministers didn't see it. The report says they should have and gives other examples too. Despite promises that Cabinet would discuss the military contribution, it did not discuss the military options or their implications. Blair is criticized strongly for not pressing the US on his concerns about managing Iraq after the invasion. It says he knew the significance of the post-conflict phase, but didn't rethink Britain's involvement or make it contingent on having a strong plan ready to go when the fighting stopped. Tony Blair has often said the huge security problems which developed through outside actors trying to tear the country apart couldn't have been predicted. The inquiry disagreed. The risks of internal strife in Iraq, active Iranian pursuit of its interests, regional instability and al-Qaeda activity in Iraq were each explicitly identified before the invasion. Little surprise, the report found the war was justified using faulty intelligence. Of course, there were no weapons of mass destruction. But a crucial point for Blair, it says there's nothing to indicate his people exaggerated or created information to help sell their case for war. Please stop saying I was lying or... The report says it doesn't question Blair's belief, but it found his assessment of the threat posed by Saddam Hussein went too far ahead of the available intelligence. For that, Valerie O'Neill says she'll never forgive him. Her younger son, Chris, was killed by a roadside bomb in Basra in 2007. He didn't listen to the intelligence. He listened to what he wanted to listen to. No matter what anybody said to him, Tony Blair was going to war with George Bush. The report doesn't say explicitly the decision to invade Iraq was a mistake, but it comes close. Intervention which went badly wrong with consequences to this day. Tony Blair responded at length, passionately declaring his sorrow and accepting responsibility while insisting he acted for the right reasons and the world is still better off without Saddam Hussein. I mean, I don't regret taking the decision. He's been arguing that difficult and highly unpopular case for more than 13 years. Now the Iraq inquiry's definitive account of a war it says was unnecessary can only damage Blair's determined efforts to resurrect his legacy. Phil Black, CNN, London.